Dear Heavenly Father, we're coming to you in the name of Jesus. We want to just thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to come together. Your Sabbath day, Heavenly Father. Today is to have a holy convocation so we can learn more about you, Lord God. And as your word goes forth, Heavenly Father, give us understanding, Heavenly Father, not just to understand your word, Lord God, but also to apply it to our lives. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 The title of today's lesson is Life of Victory Eternally. And it's talking about love. That's the acronym. Life of Victory Eternally. And like I said, I got this about, mm, it's like around, like around 2004, I used to listen to, uh, you know, I, I stopped listening to rap, and I would listen to uh, hip-hop. Well, it was holy hip-hop, because it, it, was, it was called uh, uh, Holy Hip-Hop Taking the Volume, to, uh, Holy Hip-Hop Volume 2, Taking the Gospel to the Streets. And I know a, a, a rapper in there, uh, he was rapping, and he said, you know, he said, um, love, life of victory turn. And I'm like, man, that was deep. And then all of a sudden, I was, you know, talking to my wife. You know, just expressing more about, you know, yes, that's good, keeping the commandments and all that, but if you're doing all this stuff without love, it's not going to profit anything. Oh, all that amen. stuff will be done in vain. So amen. we have to understand, like, when we're ministering and preaching the gospel to people, we have to have patience, long-suffering, but more important, we got to have love in it as well, because if you don't have love behind it, you can, like I said, because you can be pumped up with the knowledge and stuff that you have, and then all of a sudden, instead of trying to gain a, 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 a person for Christ now, all of a sudden, you'd rather debate that person, and now all of a sudden... And that right there won't become profitable at all. So we want to make sure that when we're walking this walk in Christ, we're doing it in love. Because without Amen. love, like I said, all this is done in vain. So we're going to go ahead and start this off in Exodus 20 and read 1 through 20. Because we want to know how, also how to love God and also how to love our neighbor. And as a matter of fact, on the, um, put 14, yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to add um, Romans 13, 8 through, uh, Romans 13, 8 through 10. But yeah, we'll just add it on the last one though. Yeah. What, number 14? Romans 13, 8 through 10, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put that in there. Okay, Exodus 20, start at verse 1. Go ahead. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, mm -hmm. visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, mm. and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep. My commandment. Like I said, you can just put this in your notes right now. Uh, like I said, um, Proverbs eight seventeen. Proverbs eight seventeen, where it says, when God says, I love those that love me, and those that seek me shall find me early. So like I said, so I want to put that because God loves them that love him. Mm -hmm. And how do we love him? We love him by keeping his commandments. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So it's so, so, normal when people say God loves everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God loves the sin. No, no, no. God loved the sinner. But hate the sin. Well, because, you know, what is that? In Psalms, what was it? In uh, Psalms 5 and 5, where cause people love to use that. God loves the sinner, but hate the sin. Well, let's, let's, see, let's see what he say. Psalms 5 and 5 says, no, I'm going to start at verse 4. But thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. So, so like I said, so the workers of iniquity are the what? Are the people, right? Not the sin. You know what I'm saying? So don't say he, yeah, God loves the sinner, but don't let us in. No, he hates you. If you're a worker of iniquity, you a sinner. So, right. Right. yeah. So, I just want to put that out there. All right, go ahead. Seven. Thou Exit. shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, mm -hmm. for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor. And do all thy work, mm -hmm. but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is that in them is, mm -hmm. and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, 
thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. Mm -hmm. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God has come to prove you, mm -hmm. and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. Amen. So, right, so he says, so like I said in verse 20, it says, And God said unto the people, Fear not, for God has come to prove or to test you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. Because remember, like, God wants us to love him, even though, you know, he, that's why he gave us commandments on how to love him, because he wants us to walk perfect, like how he told Abraham to walk perfect, and how Christ told us to walk perfect. And that means the maturity as far as being obedient and keeping his commandments as well. So now let's go ahead and go to Deuteronomy 10. Deuteronomy 10. Deuteronomy 10, and we're going to read 12 through 16. Deuteronomy 10, 12 through 16. Deuteronomy 10, 12 through 16. When you get there, go ahead. Deuteronomy 10, 12 through 16. Go ahead. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God and to walk in all his ways mm -hmm. and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for it. For thy good. Mm -hmm. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord thy God. You see that though, how it is? The heaven and the heavens of heavens, that's three. Because that's where, remember, God resides in the third heaven. So that's deep. But he also says, Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord thy God. But go ahead. The earth also, mm -hmm. with all that therein is, only the Lord hath had a delight in thy fathers to love them. And he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. Mm -hmm. Circumcise, therefore, the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. See, now we see the circumcision, because, like, you know, people think that circumcision of the heart came by, you know, in the New Testament, dealing with the writings of Paul. But we see right here, God always wanted us to circumcise our heart and the foreskin of our heart, because... Right, because you can be circumcised in the flesh all you want. You can still go to the lake of fire if you're not being obedient to his commandments. Mm -hmm. So God, first and foremost, he does want the circumcision of your heart as well. Because if you have a circumcision of your heart, that means you have a change of heart and that you'll follow him. Amen. 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 So now let's go ahead and go to Deuteronomy 30. Deuteronomy 30, and we're going to read 11 through 20. Deuteronomy 30. We're going to read 11 through 20. Deuteronomy 30, 11 through 20. When you get there, go ahead. For this command, oh. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. For this commandment which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, mm -hmm. neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? Neither it is neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart that thou may that thou mayest do it. See, I have set before thee this day life and good mm -hmm. and death and evil. And that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, mm. to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandment and his statutes and his judgment, that thou mayest live and multiply. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest and possess it. But you see how he was, how he was telling you, like, 
in verse 11 says, For this commandment which I command you this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. Like, you ain't got to go to heaven to try to get it, or either go to the, the depths of the sea to got to get it, because people try to think, you know, it's so, man, it's just so hard to keep those commandments, man. It's just that how. So are you telling me, is, is, is it that hard not to lie, <laughs> not to steal, not to kill, not to commit adultery? Fornication, not to honor your mother and father, take the Lord. Like, are those things not that hard? I said, it's hard if you, if you in the flesh or have a carnal mind, but when you have the spirit, that's why God gave us the spirit so that we, we, we're able to, when we're walking in the spirit, we're able to keep his commands. But if that's something that you don't want to do, it's going to be hard for you. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So that's something why you have to be willing to do that as well. But go ahead, verse 17. You about the hidden uh -huh. from thee, that footnote for hidden is said, too mysterious for thee. Mm. You know? Mm hmm too mysterious for thee. Mm -hmm. so it's, not too it's not too mysterious. Exactly. All right. Remember, remember. Uh, also, Paul quoted this. Mm -hmm. When you go to Romans uh, ten, like I say, yeah, he he quoted that. Uh, this the same thing that uh, from where, from Moses. But go ahead though. Seventeen. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, mm. but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day mm. that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whither thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. Mm -hmm. I call heaven and earth mm. to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. And how are you choosing life in this aspect? By being obedient in God and keeping his commandments. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. Or you can choose death by not accepting God, worshiping other gods, and not keeping his commandments. But go ahead. That's still kind of, I mean, that's still close to, I mean, mm -hmm. to that, that scripture that says, choose you this day Amen. you shall it's serve. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh-huh. Hey, God and man. Exactly. Uh -huh. Through your loved one and the other. Exactly. Go ahead. That thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life and the length of thy days, mm. that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Amen. 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 So now let's go ahead and go to Deuteronomy 6. Deuteronomy 6 and read 1 through 9. Deuteronomy 6 and we're going to read 1 through 9. Deuteronomy 6, 1 through 9. And when you get there, go ahead. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments, which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, that ye might do them in the land where ye go to possess it, that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, mm -hmm. which I command thee, Thou and thy son and thy son's son mm. all the days of thy life, mm -hmm. that and that thy days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord, uh, the Lord God of thy fathers, have promised thee, in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord, mm. and shall, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Oh. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, mm -hmm. and thou shalt talk, with, talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. And when thou walkest by the way, mm -hmm. and when thou liest down, mm. and when thou risest up, mm -hmm. and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hands, and they shall be as frontless between thine eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and on thy gate. Amen. But you see how he's harping on it. He says, Verse 6, and these words when I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. He's telling you how, how he wants you to keep these commandments. He said, thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and thou shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, 
And when I walk is by the way, and when I lie down, and when I rise up, and then he said, Thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and thou shalt be as frontless, which means like a headband, mm -hmm. between thy eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the post of the house and all thy gates. Like, he's serious, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really wants you to keep the commandment. But see, praise God also. See, now, like I said, you know, that's why, you know, you know, you know, we still wear fringe and things like that, too. But now we understand that now the laws are written on our hearts now. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, it's good, like, to have them on the post and stuff like that. But now we should also know, like what David was saying, you know, Psalms 119.11, for your word I've hidden in my heart. So, so when I sin against you. So, right, I don't have to look at the doorpost or that or look at my fringe to know not to cheat on my wife. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's written in my heart. But we still do those things because that's what God wants us to do. However, we're still supposed to instill those things in our children, our children's children. And that's the thing about our people aren't doing that. And that's why our people are walking in the curses right now. That's what I was going to say and stuff. You see how passionate God was about it then. Yeah, thank you. Now he was extremely more. passionate mm -hmm. about, you know, you pass it on to there your you children go. and stuff. Mm -hmm. and says to make sure that you don't forget. But then again, we're living in a time now where you being told and stuff in the church. <laughs> there you go. Law, you keep that old law here. You I'm put them. You put them back on the cross. Yeah, you so put you, them right. back on the you cross. trying to be obedient, so you put them back on the cross. So that means he died for nothing. Those, those pastors need to be afraid about <laughs> all that Facts. kind of nonsense that they're you talking about. Because you don't okay. them to say that. Constantly. Yes. Yeah, they do. Like yeah. they're talking about you, doing away with the commandments. And look how and he's constantly he's harping, 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 harping on it. Yeah, like he's he's serious and about that. You know, like you could hear like the voice of God when he was crying. Oh, Israel, if you yes, just keep my praise God. Yes, so yeah. how I would have gathered. There you go. Why you keep on doing this and stuff. So know? now that he came, he didn't nailed it to the cross because he knew it was too hard for us to keep. So he nailed it. So now you ain't got to do it. If Jesus fulfilled it for y'all. Just believe in him, and you all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, really? Yeah, you can still go out and do things because you know he nailed that to the cross. And he know you. He knew you couldn't keep it. He knew you couldn't stop lying and couldn't stop killing and all that. He's like, wow, really? But see, like, so why would he give something that's impossible to keep then? Come well, on, what we had said earlier, like the world system said God loves everybody. There you go. <laughs> so you got this world, yes. they all, I mean, belief that, you know, there's all different avenues and ways Praise to God, yes. and stuff. Like and, Oprah, right. It's, it's you got a house. And there's different front ways door. to get into the house. You got the front door, the back door. Jesus said, I'm the way that you don't like no man because the father of my But you're saying, well, if you want to go to the back door, to the side door, to the window, you can still get to God and God. Oh. And I'm like, she was, she grew up in the church, though. She, she was reading the Bible at three years old. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Hey, praise God. Yeah, it's not in John 14, 6. The affairs of this world is, is taking over. Now, that's now, now, point. she, she money's her God. Now. So whatever I'm gonna take, Ooh, whatever deep. I have to say to get more money. There you go. That's, that's deep. That's my God. That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. Good point. Good point. Guys. And, and they better get off that what we just said earlier about that God loves everybody, <laughs> all of God's children. Because right. I, yeah, I do, I do remember the stuff what Jesus told those Pharisees. Said, you're 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 the father of the devil. Yes. Right. So yeah. right. First John three talks mm -hmm. about the God, the children of God, and then also the children of the devil. Right. So yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So the devil, the sinners, yeah, mm -hmm. right. That are sinning, you know, what I'm saying intentionally, not just because you know we all sin, but I'm right. talking about when you're a slave, a to lifestyle. Sin. Amen. There you go, a lifestyle. Praise right. God. Yeah. Let's go to. Um, they don't want to change. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. One verse, Joshua twenty-two and five. Yeah, it's right after Deuteronomy. Joshua twenty-two and five. Get there? Go ahead. But take diligent heed to do the commandment. It's all right. You're good. Okay. No, I know. Yeah, my, hold on. Yeah, mine does the same thing, too. Get the play button. No, you good, cousin? Oh, no, no. Go ahead. Oh, okay. But take diligent heed to do the commandment and the law. Mm -hmm. Which Moses, the servant of the Lord, charged you mm. to love the love the Lord your God, and to walk in all His ways, and to keep His commandments, mm -hmm. and to cleave unto Him, and to serve Him with all your heart and with all your soul. You see that though, but how you, He's showing us how to love Him is that's to keep His commandments, and we're mm -hmm. going to see later on how as well to love our neighbor. That's also to. Keep his commandments. That's how you can show that you love God and your neighbor by keeping his commandments. And they're all written in the scriptures. Because, like, you don't want, because, you know, when people talk about love, you know, you can have that little fuzzy feeling in your heart. Whereas, you, like, you got homosexuals who think it's cool to love each other because they, they feel, well, yes, I love this person. It's, and they thinking it's okay. And then they'll say that they're also Christians as well. 
while being homosexual, and they'll think that's okay. But guys, like, no, you can't, you can't do that. What do they call it? Philido love or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, well yeah, you got uh, you got uh, um, uh, agape love, which means unconditional. Uh, love, unconditional and you got phileo. Yeah, yeah, phileo. Yeah, phileo. Like yeah, like yeah, philanthropists or, or the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Like mm -hmm. phileo means it's like a love that's that's based on conditions, though. Agape love is based on not it's not it's unconditioned mm -hmm. unconditional love and then phileo is based on conditional. But see, there's love. a lot of Christians that feel the stuff that 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 phileo love is what they that's what they misconstrued for for agape love. Yeah, yeah, because okay, see, yes, yes, yes. Because see, when you walk with Christ, like I said, I hate to keep taking no, no, the time. No, you can no, I mean, but you I remember Bible stuff like. through your life and stuff. When when the Lord dealt with me about praying for this man that was on my job. Oh yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enemy. Amen. Yeah, I remember that. And I said, God, tell the story. I yeah, tell said, it. Yeah. yeah, it was it was a man on my job that demoted me from my job, from my position as an as, as an operator, was going back and stuff, telling some of the other coworkers. Yeah, dog, you see the way I did, Steve. Yeah, man, I dog. And they, they, they were coming back and, mm -hmm. and they wanted to talk about man. He man, he got a dislike for you, man. He just dog and he bragged about what he did to you mm -hmm. and stuff, you know. And so in a way, you know, the Lord was dealing with me about, you know, not, you know, because in my flesh, I want to yeah, I don't put some yeah. hands on me, <laughs> but, but, you know, the Lord dealt with me about, you know, not going there and stuff. And so, came to find out the stuff that he had contracted, he had cancer. Mm. And so in a way, you know, he was going around, he was telling guys, and he was emotional, he was upset about it and this stuff, and he was talking to people about it and stuff. And, uh, he, you know, he... he he, he 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 contracted the cancer and stuff, mm -hmm. and, and the Lord and stuff. I mean, I never would, you know, be sitting no, up there rejoicing about that's somebody. The Bible talks about that too, yeah. And be up there, you know, how some people say, yeah, that's karma. That's what he gets for that and stuff. Yeah, Robert but said, in, we, yeah. We'll but in the process of what he had in the stuff, the Holy Spirit told me, he said, I want you to pray for him. Mm, wow. Mm. And I said, Amen. I said, like like people be saying, wait a minute, what? Lord, wait a minute now. I said, you, you done already right, told right, me right, you know it. <laughs> not to get mad at right. this man and stuff. I said, I got to come to work and stuff and deal with this joke and stuff with him messing with me, you mm -hmm. know, and and, and, and and sitting up there laughing and stuff like he's thinking that he has, my, you know, got me at my demise and stuff. Mm -hmm. And now you asking me to pray for him? Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I can't. I said, I, you know, I will fight it. I said, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And so the way, you know, and I truly asked him, I said, I said, Lord, I said, I can't do that. It's the only way I can do that. I said, you'll have to help me do that. Mm -hmm. And yes. sure enough. <laughs> As time went on and stuff, God moved on my heart and stuff until I was I was truly sincere God. and really looked at him as a human being and, and, and took it upon myself and stuff and went before the throne of God and truly prayed sincerely yes, for him. Amen. And sure enough, a little time passed and stuff, he came back, he had a good report. He said his cancer was in remission. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guys were coming around and stuff up there. Hey, tell me I'm glad that everything worked out for you, man. Yeah, man, you know, I'm glad. He was like, yeah, appreciate it, dog. Yeah, man, fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a, a, a straight out southern white boy. Yeah. <laughs> and so the way, you know, guys, you know, uh, you know, I, so I, you know, I walked up to him. I said, hey, Tommy, I said, man, I'm glad to hear stuff, man, that, you know, that, you know, your cancer's in remission. I said, man, I had you in prayer. I was, you know, I was keeping you in prayer. And he looked church. up at me, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that, dog. Uh, no, he just said, I appreciate it. He said, yeah, man. He said, yeah, man. I was going to church, man. All of my folks at the church, church. they were praying yeah, and stuff for he me. He disregarded your prayer. It was almost yeah, like, this God didn't even acknowledge me. Like, said, like, yeah. said, say, hey, buddy, I don't care for you. I don't need your prayers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what he was truly yeah. like. Right. And, man, in my spirit, I was Ooh. growing up. I was like, Lord, I said, what? And then the Lord said, no, don't you go there. Mm -hmm. He said, don't you go there. Mm -hmm. He said, he said you, obedient to, you were obedient to what I told Amen. you. Amen. Church mm -hmm. So I felt better about, you know, God was kept telling me, you were obedient. You did what I told you. Yeah. Less than a couple of weeks later, he had some, some friction. He's supposed to win and told the operations manager, I don't like the way that things are going around here, and I'm just telling you right now, I'm giving y'all my two weeks notice. So the operations manager is fired off on him and said, you, what, you, what, what you mean? You give us a two We don't need your two weeks notice. Get out of here now. We don't need you. Mm -hmm. Fired him on the spot. So guys, naturally, they're coming back and they rejoice. Yeah, man, it's that. Because everybody saw how dirty he was doing. Man, they got rid of him, man. man. They, fired, they fired him and stuff like that. And so the way... They was thinking that I was going to be like, I told yes. you, dog. <laughs> right, but right, but right. the Lord told me, he said, don't you rejoice. Amen. He said, because of something that even worse come to you. Amen. Facts. Within about 10, 15 minutes, supervisor walked up and stuff. Hey, man, operations manager want to operations manager want to talk to you, man. And so the way I'm trying to figure out, man, you know, what is it? What they, what they want to talk to me about mm -hmm. and stuff. I go into the office and stuff. They said, look, they said, uh, I'm sure you done heard by now. We've just gotten rid of Tommy. Mm -hmm. So. We knew when we had to, when he came in and stuff and was talking about he wanted to take it off the machine and stuff. He said that 
we knew we were having problems. We knew that you had always had been doing a good job. So, but then again, so, you know, yeah, so we didn't want to. The, uh, you know, uh, uh, supersede, you know, this right. is a supervisor, right. but he said, so we have to go along with him. They said, but he's been, said, we've gotten rid of him. He said, said, would you do this for the company? He said, would you please resume your position wow. and stuff like that, right. with full pay and stuff. So we, the company would truly wow. appreciate it. God gave me honor yes, and, and stuff. And God, no God, you and, and so because, and I used to give guys and stuff, tell guys and stuff, maybe said, man, I know you want to do this. I said, I said, man, I said, I said, yeah, in my flesh. I said, but man, I said, Lord, man, Praise God with me about that building. Hey, but in, in a lot man. of ways and stuff, guys and stuff, they looked at me and stuff. Was like, hey, man, you said you said prayer changes things, man. Right. You know, and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and I, I, I remain, I remain yes. obedient. And guys, mm -hmm. and, and there was a few guys used to would tell me. So I said, there's a couple of said some guys out, a lot of guys out here said that they're Christians and stuff. So, but you and your brother-in-law, man, I know you guys. Are you and Uncle Aaron. Yeah. And so that was uh, like our testimony. Yeah, wow. yeah. yeah. Praise God. Praise God. You and Aaron, they knew y'all was Christians. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, right. Amen. 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 Exactly. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, so but it was hard, though. Oh, I know, yeah. God. But like then again, you see that all things are possible. Hey, there you go. go. Because in my flesh, in my mind, said I couldn't do it. Yes. But yes. it was the Holy Spirit that got me to that point. Yeah. And that's what got me. I was really, I said, wow. I really felt, you know, I, I, I prayed for his healing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But <laughs> it was my so church so. prayed for me. Yeah, 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 it was almost like saying, yeah, yeah, the people at my church go oh, pray for God. God ain't here to pray for I know like, your prayers have no yeah. impact. Yeah. It's my church people. That church for me, so I don't care what you say. Yeah, right. That's, that's what it was happen. saying, baby. That's mm -hmm. pretty much what he was saying. Right. Mm -hmm. Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19, we're going to read 1 through 4, and then 11 through 18. Leviticus 19, 1 through 4, then 11 through 18. Leviticus 19, 1 through 4, 11 through 18. All right, we get there. Go ahead. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, Ye shall be holy, mm -hmm. for I, the Lord your God, am holy. Ye shall fear every man, his mother and his father, and keep my Sabbath. Mm. I am the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten gods. Amen. Verse 11 through... Uh, I am the 18. Lord your God. Go ahead. 11. Ye shall not steal, mm -hmm. neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. Mm. Ye, and ye shall not swear by my name falsely, mm -hmm. neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. And the way that you can profane the name of the Lord your God is when you're not being obedient, keeping his commandments. Remember, he gave them the name Israel. So by, the, by him giving him his name Israel, now you're not supposed to profane it. So you're supposed to be walking in the law, such commandments. But now, like I said, because he, he breaks it down in Ezekiel, 6, uh, Ezekiel 36 saying how, you guys uh, uh, profane my name among the heathens. Like, because, you know, every time they saw right. Israelite, the Israelites, we were always committing different uh, uh, sins and, and serving other guys. So that's how, that's, how you profane, that's how you profane his name, Amen. by not keeping the commandments of God, especially when you're claiming to be, or, you know, an Israelite, or a follower of Christ. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, being a follower of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go ahead, 13. Thou Amen. shalt not Thanks. defraud thy neighbor, mm -hmm. neither rob him. Mm -hmm. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. So you know what that means. So like, so if a person goes out and does a job, if I'm going out there and, and, and done the field for or whatever job is done for you, you don't have to wait until the morning to pay me. Pay me what I what I did right then and there. Now, why you got to wait until the morning to pay me? He said, look, pay pay that person now. And you know that's a problem for real guys <laughs> that do work for guys and stuff. Hey, bro. Uh, Come and check with the, with me tomorrow, man. I gotta make sure I get this check. Yeah, all that, yeah, all that exactly. Yeah, no, good point. People have gotten real. Oh, I know. It's, it's been some some real. That's why is this this is in here. That, that's, <laughs> amazing. Yeah. that's what I said. I'm amazing. Yeah, pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, mm -hmm. nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shall fear thy God. I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, mm -hmm. nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Because you know, a lot of times people show favoritism to people who are who have more wealth or riches. That's right. That's why you know that's also in uh, 
Deuteronomy uh, 117 talk about do not show any partiality towards your neighbor. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Cause people do that though. Like you said that that time when um when uh when uh Pastor um um what's that at Kingdom Life uh, Roberson when he was sitting in front where well, you weren't there were well, now the ones who paid the big money y'all need to be up here. So when you smaller y'all need to back. Down. You can't do that. Get take y'all get the chairs around the table. Yeah, see, that's it. Yeah. Oh, but see, the they were showing favoritism to the ones who had more money and more wealth, yeah. and God said you're not supposed they to do that. more confidence and right. more Amen. bigger budget. Exactly. <laughs> right, bigger budget. That's wrong. <laughs> exactly. Go ahead. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people. Oh, so he was always talking about, yeah, he was telling mm -hmm. them to stop gossiping and tattling them back then. Go ahead. Neither shall thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Mm. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Right, so yeah, so just because your neighbor has done something wrong to you, yeah, you don't you don't hate your brother. Yeah, you rebuke you rebuke him, like I said, but you don't want yeah, you don't want sin to also suffer upon that person as well because you still want to remember we're still walking in love at this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Thou shalt not avenge mm -hmm. nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, mm -hmm. but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Mm. I am the Lord. Wow. Amen. Amen. So now let's go ahead and go to Matthew 22. Matthew 22. And it's sad we live in a world and stuff where people have fault with their neighbors and yes. stuff. And, and it's kind of sad. Some people be trying to avoid problems with some some neighbors, and some neighbors just have like a devil in them. And <laughs> kill, they kill their neighbors and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the, that's, that's just some stuff that <laughs> yeah. happened. There because I be saying you be you be sitting back in shock like, wow, you mean they killed them and stuff just because of mm -hmm. some, so, some some money? Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Your, your garbage, your garbage. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's all my, all my crazy stuff. stuff. Yes, yeah, it's crazy. Yes, man. man. That's why you got to be prayed up, man. That's my brother-in-law. Uh, wow. One of his uh, neighbors just That's got killed. Uh, mm -hmm. By another neighbor upstairs. Wow. A yeah. few weeks back. A few weeks back, too? Mm -hmm. I remember when I was helping him move into his apartment. Yeah. Well, was a dispute about Alicia's something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of his neighbors, neighbors at his apartment complex got killed by a gallery upstairs. Because mm -hmm. apparently his wife had gotten into the to it with the neighbor upstairs about something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guess she went downstairs to... Tell him, hey, this guy upstairs, blah, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. He went up there and hey, yeah. killed him. Yeah. What? Mm. Yeah. And, and you know what? And, uh, and, uh, I mean, and I'm not I, I'm not saying that I know this woman or anything like that, but what, what, so I've always known the stuff that, you know, in relationship with a woman or a man and stuff really care for you and stuff, you try to avoid problems. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. Man, and then you know, you don't Because you got some women up there saying, well, what kind of man are you? You a punk? You gonna let him talk to me like that and stuff? And then you go run upstairs and stuff. Boom, and get blown in. Ooh, he killed my baby. You remember when, you know, a person that we know, part of, you remember that when he was married to a person, and that person always try to get uh, with one of them yeah. to fight. You see him looking at me, be like, who? Like, where y'all going? No. Yeah. Where y'all going? Oh, I was on the doorbell? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Right. Yeah. They'd be like, you see that person looking at me, be like, who? This person right here. It's like, how oh, your back turned to look? You talking about who looking at you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Yeah, right. see, but see, it's stuff like that can cause, and obviously now you you try to defend defend her, obviously you get into a fight, supposed to get shot. Yeah, apparently, like that. I heard that she spit she spit at the neighbor. Spit on him or something like that. Wow. Oh, that's wow. Respect, so. See, man. So I don't know the whole story. Yeah. Spitting on someone? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now yeah, he's that. lost his life and stuff behind his life. Lost your life around something like that. Yeah. We're okay, so now let's go to Matthew, uh, Matthew twenty two. Matthew twenty two. Matthew twenty two. Thirty four through forty. Matthew twenty two. Thirty four through forty. Matthew 22, 34 through 40. When you get there, go ahead. But when the Pharisees had heard mm -hmm. that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Mm. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? So you see how deep this is, though, because we got to understand why he said it. Because he said, he says, then one of them, which was a lawyer, a lawyer, which means like one who's supposed to be learned in, in the law. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. Look, ask him a question. But what was he doing? He was tempting him, though, saying, 
which is massive, which the uh, the great commandment in the law. So it's like an example saying, okay, so is it more important? Is it, you know, saying to whereas if I commit adultery or is it more important to honor my mother and father? Or is it more important not to lie than to take the Lord's name in vain? So mm -hmm. that's what mm -hmm. they're trying to get them to try to test, trying to travel. Yeah. Watch, what, watch, what, watch what Jesus hit them up with though. Go ahead, 37. And Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. Mm -hmm. This is the first and great commandment. Remember, we just read that in Deuteronomy 6 and 5. He just quoted Deuteronomy 6 and 5. Thou shalt love the Lord. Love the Lord thy God with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength. Now watch this. Two. Go ahead. 39. And the second is like unto it, that thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And then we just read that in Leviticus 19, 18. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So Jesus quoted Deuteronomy 6 and 5, and then he also quoted Leviticus 19 and 18. And then go ahead. On what? On these two commandments hang all the law. And the prophet. Amen. Amen. So like I said, so, right, so also you, you can even look at look at it in the tent. You know what I'm saying? Remember, he said he wrote the, the Ten Commandments on two tables of stone. Like he said, the first table, the first four commandments, dealing with how to love the, how to love God. The, the second uh, set of stones, or the Six Commandments, is how to love your neighbor. Like I said, but it encompasses that all that God says to do. So if you love the Lord, you're going to keep his Sabbath day, you're going to keep his speech day, you're going to keep his dietary law, because you love him. You love your neighbor. You're not gonna, you know, lie your neighbor, steal your neighbor, uh, covet uh, your neighbor's things and things like that. So that's why. So when Jesus said that, that shut him down right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now let's go ahead and go to uh, John 14. John 14. We're gonna read 15 through 24. John 14. John 14. We're gonna read 15 through 24. Can we get there? Go ahead. If you love me, keep my commandment. Mm -hmm. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another com comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. Mm -hmm. But ye know him, for... He dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live. Ye shall live also. Mm -hmm. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, mm. and I in you. He that hath my commandments keepeth them. Mm. He it is that loveth me, and he that he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, mm -hmm. and I will love him, and he will manifest myself to him. Mm -hmm. Judas saith unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou will manifest thyself unto us, and not into the world? Watch this. Jesus answered and said unto him. If a man love me, he will keep my word, mm. and my father will love him, mm -hmm. and we will come unto him mm. and make our abode with him. Mm. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the father's which sent me. Right, so Jesus didn't make that up on his own. He got that from the father, exactly. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. So now let's go ahead and go to uh, John 13. John 13. 31 through 35. John 13, 31 through 35. John 13, 31 through 35. All right, go ahead. Therefore, when he was gone out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God be glorified in him, God shall also glorify him in himself, and shall straightway glorify him. Mm -hmm. Little children, yet a little while, I am with you. You shall seek me, and as I said in, unto the Jews, whither I go, ye cannot come. So now I say unto you. 
Now remember, he, he quoted this in uh, in John eight. He was telling he was telling this to the Pharisees about. That's what he said. I told the Jews. But he was talking to the Pharisees that in a little while I'm with you. You shall seek me. And as he said to the Jews, whether I go, you cannot come. So now I said, you can remember. He said, for I'm from above and you are from beneath. Mm -hmm. That's what he was talking about right here. But watch what he's gonna say right here. Look at uh, thirty four. A new commandment I give unto you, mm -hmm. that ye love one another as I have loved you, mm -hmm. that ye also love one another. Mm -hmm. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Amen. 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 You gotta Amen. walk in love. I'm telling you, man. That's 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 the most important key. Walking is walking with Christ, man. It's, it's walking in love. That's Amen. one. That's another thing where people be up there and stuff like this. If you can't forgive your brother, the father never can forgive yeah, you. Praise God. God. You got a lot of people who want to put, you know, emphasis on that. You know, well, I can't forgive him. Mm -hmm. but, but forgiveness mm -hmm. is a big key. Yes, it is. Amen. Yes, it is. In order trust to live, me. to live, especially if you want to be forgiven, Amen. Amen. you want to trust Amen. me. Amen. That God has given, said, but if you have not love, Ooh. there you go. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Together, because it means nothing. No, there you, you go. Can Anything. Lay hands on yeah. the sick. You can hey. speak in tongues. Speak speak tongue. tongue. <laughs> <Speak in tongue. laughs> you can speak those that are hungry. There you go. You can do that. And sometimes men will do it because they're puffed up in their self. There's the Amen. 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 You don't have love. love. See, God hey. knows Amen. you. You're supposed to do everything by love. There you go. Amen. Ooh, yes, he was. Yes, he was. Before even in healing and whatever you do, you got to be moved with love and compassion because that's the principal thing. Mm -hmm. If you don't have it, whatever you do don't mean nothing. No, man. Right. You say, I'm doing this, yeah. I'm doing that, but if you don't have love, love. Your brother there you go. From your heart, there you go. I want to help you because I know that God is his main thing is for us to love him first. And yes. Right. Mm -hmm. and yes. Love your well, yes, so in other words, we can say what the scripture says. He says when they're going to be before the Lord. Uh oh, there you go. Then I was saying the same thing. Yes. Right. Then we yep. healed. And that's what all that without love. Support, and the Lord goes said, the You did not work of iniquity because you did it by love. If right. Billy wasn't it, in love. It wasn't in love. Because remember, love it's covers. The same love, thing love. Thing. Yeah. It also covers a multitude of sin as well. You know what I'm saying? Because yes, love does. It makes you forget right because when someone has done you wrong. The love and compassion that you had to your brother, you will forgive them. That's why Amen. when he asked, he said, "How long? How often should I forgive my brother? Uh, seven, seven times?" He said, seven. seventy times seven. seven. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, we, it's continuous. It's continuous. It's not, not saying at, at the 491 you stop. No, no. Right. Just he just said, yeah, 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 right. Seven seven times seven exactly. Seven there you go. On, exactly. No, you're good. You're good. Yes. Sin and Me too. We can look with them. We are to be more like Christ and to be in His image. Yes. And think like He said, "Let His mind be you." That's it. Also mm -hmm. in Christ Perfect. Jesus, when you think with the mind of Him and you renew your mind, you're transformed. There you go. You will begin to understand. My brother and sister, they may have done that thing to me because out of ignorance. There you go. Know Stuff like that. God, Amen. Start to show Amen. Mm -hmm. And reveal and make you understand why people do what they do. Praise God. So a lot of times it's easier to forgive. Like they say, sometimes you may know, Sister Yvonne, if a person go in your house and they steal a loaf of bread from you mm -hmm. because they was really hungry, oh, yeah. but then you got somebody coming in your house and they stealing a loaf of bread because they're greedy. They're <laughs> right. 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 I got you. Yeah, I see that. But, hey, that's that right. person really stole that bread because they were hungry. Mm -hmm. right. But then this other person that was selfish, greedy, they stole mm -hmm. it from me. So you're going to be able to judge that situation differently. Mm -hmm. But that's right. the same with okay. the mind of God. We're going to that love. Amen. 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 Good time. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Yeah. John 3. John 3. 13 through 21. John 3. 13 through 21. John 3. 13 through 21. When we get there, go ahead. John 3, 13 to 30, 21. Go ahead. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, mm -hmm. but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, wilderness even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, 
that whatsoever believeth in him whosoever. should mm -hmm. I'm ahead. sorry, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Mm -hmm. For God so loveth the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Mm -hmm. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, mm -hmm. because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten son, son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather mm -hmm. than light, mm -hmm. because their deeds were evil. Mm -hmm. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, mm -hmm. neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. That means exposed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, mm -hmm. that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Amen. Amen. That they are done through God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. I got one thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. One thing. No, you're good. Brothers, yeah, brothers, you're good. Pastors. You're good. <laughs> Yes. Light. Mm -hmm. But we also know in churches and different places, there's always a spirit, like that mm. person got a spirit on them. Okay. This, you know, they're doing it because of a thought like that. But don't you, I, 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 in my study, and I'm getting an understanding that everything is not a spirit that makes you do it. Some hey, people man. love. Things. It's the flesh. That's true. They that is flesh. Flesh. Know, that's flesh. That's a spirit. Yes. Right that's right. facts. Right. Right. Yeah. That's right. Right. And they want to cast out a spirit. <laughs> it is them. So <laughs> they love the darkness. Sit down, Philip. They yeah. love darkness. Sit down. Down. They love some people love the sin of what it is that they're doing, and they don't want to come to the light. That's right. Of that the is word. true. You see right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so they they put it off that uh, it almost like a, what Flip Wilson used to say, the devil. Devil made me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that stuff. Right. Right. People really love the, if you enjoy sinning. That's true. Really what you're doing, you just Very do good. it, and you love that sin because you have not. There you go. Amen. So that's it. Amen. Amen. No. Oh, no. Fair. Fair. Amen. Amen. No, that's it. Praise God. Society. God. Society, oh, is set, no, society, yeah. is, society is set up like this. Mm -hmm. If a man is an alcoholic, it's a it's sickness. A mm -hmm. it's, a it's a spirit. It's a spirit that does it. It's the spirit that does it. If a person is stuck, it's caught up in a homosexual lifestyle. It's, the, it's, it's the just, you know, it's born a spirit. They were born, born that way. Mm -hmm. There's always an excuse. God calls sin is 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 I mean uh, uh, sin is what uh, the transgression of the law. Transgression of the law. Anything that God says is sin, it should be written that Remember, it is, is sin. Remember the Bible said that you say you said those that uh, that have a carnal mind are not subject to the laws of God. You know what, what it says it says in uh, in Romans um, in Romans eight. Yeah, Romans eight and fleshly. Romans 8 and I'm going to start at verse 4. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are the spirit the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither can it be. So they that are in the flesh... Cannot please God, right? So it's not always dealing with a spirit. It's dealing with a fleshly nature. Like they don't want it. They don't even have to have a spirit to try to uh, provoke them to do sin because they want to do sin already. They already do. They, they, yeah, they want to do it already. So I do. Yeah, that's a good point. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah, be, be promiscuous and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Yes. All that. I don't want to settle down. I want to be. Yeah. But then, but then, but then you got some of the folks that go to them camps. Oh, hey, brother, you know, you know, you know, you can get about 20, 30 wives you want to, like, right? what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you can get that's many, carnal mind. That's carnal mind because carnal. See, they're attracting them, car, being a carnal mind. So then now, hey, look, I know you got a, a problem with, you know what I'm saying, with, uh, with being lustful and debauchery. Look, you can get as many wives you want, brother. What? Uh, you be like, huh? Like, no. And we're going to be spirits. We're not going to be flesh. Yeah, so hey, that's, that's the same. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, there you go. Oh, yes. Intentional effort. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, because we know there's always something pulling us. Yes, amen. Right. We have to make a choice to choose to follow God. The right. Spirit is willing, choose, but yeah, the flesh is weak. Yeah, that's the flesh. Amen. 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 And see, and that's and that's what and that's when when you know that you truly walk with the Lord. That's what the Word of God says that you feel the warring in your members. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes, you feel, you feel yes, that. Yes, you do. Yeah. You feel yeah. that. In your flesh, you praise God. You do. Amen. Yeah, Paul talked about. Amen. Yes, he said. Yeah, he was warring. He was warring with the members of yeah. keeping yeah. the members of God. It's an old wretched man that I oh, am. Oh, yeah, he was. When I he was the good. He was always. He was constantly battling the flesh and walking in the laws of God. Internal conflict. Yes, it was. Yeah. And we all go through that. Yeah. And we all won't reach that plateau until we're spirit beings. So we're all going to go through that. Because we are going through it until the day we leave. There you go. Amen. Know, like, it, it, we have the valleys and the lows yes. in our life and our walk right. with Christ. Amen. Sometimes you can feel almost like like with so much in the world going on today, like mm. it's a, a depression in the uh, world yeah. or something. Mm, and I can yes. get up and I want to thank you, Lord, for this day. Right. You have to Amen. see another day. Then I want to go into a prayer, but then your, your flesh be like, no, nah, you just feel it. In no, seriously. Low. It's facts. And, then, mm -hmm. and, and you have to fight it. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Right. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Call on my name and you be like, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. No, seriously. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I pray you. You <coughs> make an intentional decision. Because you be that war and going to you feel like you just the heaviness of the, yes. of the world. Yeah, that's right. Tell the truth. And you can, and sometimes you don't feel like praying. Sometimes mm -hmm. you don't feel like opening up in, in that war and you know that's when you need it the most. There you go. That's when you need it the most. Mm -hmm. And then you have to go and just train yourself. Lord, I just pray. Even if you don't, and once you get into the praise and opening your mouth and praise in the spirit There you go. The Lord, that's right. Amen. There you go. That's, that's right. a love. That's but you got to initiate it, though. Yes. yes. You don't know. No, I understand. No, it's a fact. The spirit yes. of God is not going to break down the door for you. There you go. Right. Amen. It's, it's a struggle sometimes. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. First John two, yep, amen. First John two, one through eleven. First John two, one through eleven. When you get there, go ahead. My little children, these things write I unto you that ye sin not, mm -hmm. and if any man sin. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Mm. And he is the propitiation for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. He that saith, I know him, mm -hmm. and keepeth mm -hmm. not his commandments is a liar. Mm -hmm. And the truth is not in him. Mm -hmm. yeah. But whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Yes. Hereby know we, we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also to walk, yes. even as he walked. Mm -hmm. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past, mm -hmm. and the true light now shineth. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother mm -hmm. is in darkness mm -hmm. even until now. Mm -hmm. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. Mm -hmm. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth, mm -hmm. because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Amen. Remember, he tells, remember Amen. Jesus says uh, in Matthew 5, he said that he who hateth his brother without a cause is like a murderer. I'm like a murderer. Yes. Yeah, like, Your grandma. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you said, you, you don't like 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 a sister comes like I don't like her. Like why? She thinks she this. I'm like dang, like you don't even know anything about it. You just don't like her for no reason. That you hated her without a cause. Like that's a problem. Go ahead. There you go. That's exactly what it is. Yes, it is. Amen. Mm -hmm. Then he said, you are yet in darkness. So that shows that person is not in the light. 
There you go. Hate somebody. But that, that, that makes me think about these white supremacists out here. There you go. These are the same ones who say they're Christians. But that hate God's own people. You about to say that too? Yeah, I was. Because like when you say. When you say you love your neighbor, well, who is your neighbor? Labor. Your next door neighbor? Who is your neighbor? Who's considered right. your neighbor? Right. You know? Your neighbor is the one that uh, the Exactly. Father. Exactly. That's right. So that's why a lot of us as black right. people have always had to wonder and stuff when white folks said that they were Christians. I mean, I'm just being real. Exactly. Exactly. What God do you serve? Exactly. What God do you serve? Exactly. Right. 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 They are. They're, they're being deceived in their own eyes. And in their own churches. And almost, uh, I wonder if it's a reprobate of mind for you to sit there. It is. Exactly. Yes. It is. you love God, and you said, who you've never seen, and you hate, hate your brother. Bro. Who you see every day. Every day. Right. Exactly. Every day. Every day. Every day. That's what, that's what my son was talking about, how God would turn, um, you know, you over to a reprobate of mind. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's what Welch was talking about. Oh, wow. You can. You, there's no way. It doesn't matter whether a person is white or black or right. also talks about this, you know, we talked about uh, showing you my faith and my works. Like saying, if a person is destitute and he needs a need, well, brother, I'll pray for you. I'll instead instead of you giving this person food or clothing, I'll help the person out, you. I'll just pray for but you. Nah, yeah. like you, if you're yeah. in existence, yeah. you can do it. Because you see a lot of them, I'll pray for you. <laughs> and will they even do it? <laughs> <laughs> Take up an offer or something to help them out. Yeah, to help them out. And the powerful thing, I think, Brother Steve and I, we had talked about that earlier mm -hmm. in the week, but it still go back to that. So you offering a prayer when you got money in your pocket. There you go. Right. Help exactly. share. Give both. <laughs> right. See, they want to keep all their money in their pocket. <laughs> there you go. And they don't want to give you nothing but a prayer because that's easy to say. I'll pray for you. Uh, but when you it don't cost you anything. We were talking mm -hmm. about that's sacrifice. Deep. That's deep. For God so loved the world. Amen. There you go. He gave. Praise God. There you and go. So that love is a sacrificial love. 
efficient. Amen. Act in a lot of people want to do stuff that's easy. So it may not be easy if you've got $20 in your pocket and your brother needs something to eat. To say, hey, I'll give you 10 mm -hmm. and I'm going to help you on your way. Right. And then I know God is going to bless me later. So you're blessing by giving. That's also showing faith that God's going to give you back too. Mm -hmm. But you've already given out to your brother in an act of love. God is going to increase you even more. But some people, they are afraid to show an act of sacrifice to love one another. One of the biggest things that I've seen and stuff is that when you have opportunities like that, if somebody comes to you with a need, God is testing you. That's right. That's what I'm glad he's, with that. You, with the poor being all, you get another example. He's testing you right you there. The and see, when somebody yeah. says, I'll pray for you, he's relinquishing saying that somebody else out there give it to you. But I ain't going to give it to you. <laughs> and you That's when they, they relinquish that opportunity to, to, to show the love of Christ. But they'll be saying, well, brother, they, they sound religious. Brother, I'll pray for you. But I'm relinquishing. I got the I got the means to do, but let somebody else do it for you. Go ahead, man. That's right. Yeah, sometimes right, folks will say don't pray, and they don't even pray anyway. They don't even pray. Sometimes, yeah, you like. What was that movie that we saw? That was an excellent movie. Uh, what was that movie where they were running track? The, the track. Oh yeah. Um, Glory something. What was it? Glory. Glory Road or something like that. Yeah, where the guy was saying, you know, he was supposed to be a Christian. The guy said, you know, I'm going to pray for you. And then he came back and saw him a week later. He said, I know. He said, remember you said you're a Christian? He said, yeah. He said, remember you said you were going to pray for me? Did you did, pray for me? Did you me? pray for me? You like, like, no. No. He oh, said, but no. yeah, but he did. He's yeah, supposed to be a Christian. He's supposed to be a Christian. Yeah, like, right. that's easy to say, but people they never really even, they don't they even do that. Do it. They that don't sounds do like it at work. This looks like I was, yeah, I had a boss, and she, her sister was ill. And, uh, she knew Yvonne, Yvonne I, uh, yeah, yeah I, mean, I didn't want to get a whole name but Mary, but, but I, yeah, because of the court, but mm -hmm. she came up and said, hey, she said, I want you and uh, your wife to pray for, uh, for, for me and my sister, and my sister's really ill, and I said, oh, sure, she said, yeah, she said, I've talked to some people to pray, but she said, I know if I ask you and your wife, y'all going to pray, mm -hmm. and she said, there are some people out there that said they'll pray for you, and when they go to bed, they won't even think of it. Mm -hmm. And she was so dead serious, you know, and yeah, she's my true. boss. And I, and I told you about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, act hard. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yeah. Where are we at? Verse um, First John 17? Verse 17. Go ahead, 17, go ahead. Okay. Um, but whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and mm. shutteth up his bowels of compassion mm. from him. How dwelleth the love mm. of God That's in deep. him? That's deep. Go ahead. <laughs> My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed yeah, and go. in truth. In action. The Bible's talking, but it won't walk it. Yeah, we were just talking. Amen. Mm -hmm. And hereby we know that we are of truth, and shall assure our hearts before him. Mm -hmm. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. Mm -hmm. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments, and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Mm -hmm. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, mm -hmm. and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us. Amen. 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 Let's go ahead and go to uh, 1 John 4. 1 John 4. We're going to read 7 through 21. 1 John 4. We're going to read 7 through 21. What, 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 oh, go ahead, I'm sorry, say, say it again, go ahead, go ahead. I meant like when um, you believe in Jesus and the devil keeps on like coming back and back and back. Mm -hmm. Like that's full of flesh. Well, well remember the devil's going to always try to tempt you. That's what the Bible says in James 4, 4. When you submit to God, resist the devil and he'll flee. Please. Now granted, like, if a person, a person, a person who's constantly lying, knowing that they're lying and, and being like an egregious or are a compulsive liar, right. and then they say that they love and believe in Jesus. Remember, also in James 2, 
James even said even the devils believe in fear in, in God. Like they even believe in God and know that He exists. But if you're a believer and a follower of Christ, you will no longer you will ask the Lord to take that lying tongue that you have and to like I said and to no longer try not to lie anymore. You don't want to be a, um, a liar, a known liar, and you're saying that you still love Christ. Right, right. right. Yeah, you don't want yeah because yeah because that won't go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? That's like not being a good witness. For God. Right. Yeah. Like I said, but if you have a problem in it, if a person has a problem in that area of lying. Yes, you ask the Lord to strengthen you in that area so that you no longer lie because you don't want to continue to say, okay, I'm going to be a liar, but still love Jesus. And he'll, he'll still accept me. No, you can't. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you want to be able to walk in righteousness. And the Bible says, yeah, we shouldn't lie. And that's why. Pray, God will help yes, he will. There yeah, you go. The Spirit is going to give you the power to do it. Amen. Amen. He'll even bring a conviction to your heart in the there area you go. to that's say, what I'm you say. have to say, hey, you're not being truthful. And yes. The Amen. There you go. Amen. That's a, yes. Short yes. Read that word the, and the water, the word, the wash. Yes. And let it get into your heart. And that's why Joshua said, you know, I write your word. Let it Yes. Oh, Amen. So it. Amen. It. Amen. And so you mm -hmm. can go to the word and, and it will deliver you from those areas that you keep having areas yes. like problems. Amen. And that's what the word of God exactly right. We all have a problem so all, all of us. Problems. Don't let anyone ever tell you they got everything together. No one could ever tell you that. The only one that had everything together was Jesus. Jesus. Right. Exactly. And, and, the, and the only time and stuff I would think that somebody should be be should be fearful is that when you don't have that conviction no more. Yeah. To me, that's what scares you. That's what the reprobate. But that's there you go. That's deep too. That's what the reprobate says. Yeah. That's a reprobate there. Alright, where we at now? We at um First John four seven. Okay, first John four, verse seven. Okay. Go ahead. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Mm -hmm. He that no, that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Mm -hmm. And this was manifested the love of God toward us. Because that God sent his only begotten yes. son into yes. the world, that we might live through him. Mm. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us mm. and mm. sent his son to be the propitiation mm. for our sin. Mm -hmm. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought, to, we ought also to love one another. No man has seen God at any time, Watch it, if yeah. we love one another, mm -hmm. God dwelleth in us, mm -hmm. and his love is perfected in us. Hallelujah. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. Mm -hmm. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Yes. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in the, this world. There is no fear in love. But perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. Mm. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. He first loved us. Amen. If Amen. a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. Yes. For he that loveth not his brother, mm. whom he hath seen, yep. how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? Yes. <laughs> and this commandment have we from him that he who loves God love his brother also. Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. Yes, 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 yeah. Make you want to love. Yes, it does. Make yes, yes, it does. Love God. Amen. Make you want to love and be kind to your brother. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm called. Oh, you okay, good? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I think, I think about, too, where, where, where when she was reading early on, a lot of people and stuff, and you know, you heard it all your life. Yeah, child, I, I gave my life to the Lord. I came <laughs> to the Lord. 
No, because the word of God said God chose you. Yes, amen. Yeah, amen. amen. See, a lot of people get it twisted. Amen. Everything amen. like they did something great. Right. Yeah, child, I'm in the still. I was in the street. I did my life. I killed it out. <laughs> no, that was the grace of God. There you God go. That was the grace of God. Amen. Praise God. Because God knows those who would hear his call. There you go. Exactly. Those like, exactly. Amen. Amen. I mean, 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 I
seeketh not her own, right. is not easily provoked, mm. thinketh no evil, mm. yeah. rejoiceth not in iniquity, mm. but rejoiceth in the truth, the word of God. Mm -hmm. beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things, mm -hmm. charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecy, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when it, but when that which is perfect is come, then, then that which is in part shall be done away. See, this is also a, uh, a thing about the understanding of the Word of God as well, because it says. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. So we all know certain things. Remember, none of us have it all. Right. None of us Amen. will have it all. Don't let go. anyone ever tell you they have all the knowledge of God. They can teach it all to you. Like, that's not true. That's why he says, for we know in part, we prophesy. He said, but when that which is perfect is come, which is Jesus. Jesus Christ. Then which, he said, then that which is in part shall be done away. But then everyone's not going to know in part, but we'll all have the full understanding of the Lord at that time. So like I said, so don't let anyone tell you, listen. You need to come here because we like like I asked you, BK, if you want to come here to get the, uh, the knowledge of God, don't go anywhere because we got all the knowledge from God. No. Because God gave it to General Yohanna. I'm like, what? what? Like, huh? Talking about it's the Father, it's Jesus, and then General Yohanna. Are you serious? Yes, oh, that's what? Blasphemy. You didn't know that? That was blasphemy. Boy, you better. Wow. Yes. He's, they say that. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, so yeah, so if you ain't part of them, then you ain't gonna have it. So they saying wow. they got it all. And he be wow. sitting up there teaching, drinking him a shot, don't he? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, up there drinking, all the Sabbath yeah, day somebody, drinking, somebody drinking, drinking teaching. Crazy. How you in the pulpit are drinking, teaching on a Sabbath day? Mm. What? You ain't supposed to be doing that on you. No, you, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, wow. so go ahead. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Okay, when, verse, yeah, 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. Mm -hmm. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. Mm -hmm. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Mm -hmm. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Mm -hmm. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. Mm -hmm. And now abide faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Right, because when you look at faith, Man. faith is the foundation and the content of God's message. And then you look at hope, it's the attitude and focus, but love is an action. Like Man. it says, so that's Man. why so when, faith, so, when faith, so when faith and hope are in line, and then that's when you know, like it says, so there you can walk into completeness of God's love because when you have those in line, you got to have love. Because if, I'm telling you, without love, it's nothing. I, I'm, I've come, I come to the realization because... Having all this knowledge, but if you're ministering and you're trying to teach people without love, you can have all that you want, but you ain't gonna receive any. I mean, no one's gonna receive anything from you because you're walking with your head up high, thinking because you know so much. That's why. That's why. Yeah, I, that's why I like some Bible teachers and stuff. Like mm. when, I mean, when it's when it's said and stuff that they, they be walking and stuff, don't look upon him because he's <coughs> exactly no stuff. Stuff like that. Because like they be talking about and stuff. There are people that seem that they have, that they that they have great faith. But it, but like I said, if they don't have love, it's going to be the very thing in that great judgment. Mm -hmm. And they're going to say, you did this and that in my yep. name. Because mm -hmm. see, when you are truly a spiritual mm -hmm. being connected with the God, mm -hmm. you're going to be as people we'll be who one. like him. Yes. Love, yes. You're going to have paint that's not puffed up. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're puffed up when you're trying to hide your anointing from hope. Mm -hmm. God gave it to you. And he said, every gift is for the perfecting of faith. <laughs> There you go. Amen. That's it. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. everyone can walk in love. Everybody. Everyone will have, like it says, some are, oh, we all got different gifts, different gifts. But love, everyone can have. Amen. Praise God. The body of Christ. There you go. Mm -hmm. Every member in particular. Amen. Everything, every gift is always, everything's supposed to be working together like a machinery. Yes. Body. Amen. Mm -hmm. One thing help this and yes. that thing help that. Mm -hmm. Whoever would need what? Every gift and everything that God has given is all for the body. Amen. That's what the word of God said. It said the hand can't say to the feet. You yeah, got any yeah. and stuff like that. Right. You know, I can't tell it here. We all agree that's the fact. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do you remember what Eric was telling you um, when um, you first came out into the ministry and stuff like that? Like, um, you know how you was really excited and amped up 
Go ahead. When you was really excited and amped up about the word and everything like that, but people couldn't um, receive it. Receive it. I, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You remember what, what was it that he said? Well, no, he told dad. He told dad. It's like he said, yeah. He said your son. He said like he has the truth. He said like he said what you do, you're presenting on a plate. You, know, you got you got a nice steak. Mm -hmm. Your best was all on the spot on the plate. Look, the food looks good, but then it's being served on a plate or, 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 or surrounded by vomit. So you have the understanding, but the way you're presenting it, people won't be able to receive it. But you have the goods, though, but no one wants to eat it because it's surrounded by all that filthy behind it. So that's why, so now, like I said, God is definitely dealing with me, whereas, yes, I have the understanding, but now I'm doing the love. So just because if someone doesn't receive it or like that, now you would be like, oh, what? You don't want to receive it? All right, I'm not going to deal with you no more. I want, no, you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because it took a while for me to receive it as well. Like I said, we're all, it all takes time. But in order for that, like I said, but if you, if you try to cut that person off, they can be like, well, dang, like, just because I didn't receive it that time, well, mm -hmm. now so you don't want to talk to me and deal with me? Right. What kind of love is that? That's not, right. see, that's how I used to be, you know what I'm saying? Whereas, right. But I think God, you know, he's shaping and molding me. Exactly. Yes, right. Right. In Christ, right. amen. In Christ, we all have a growing place. Yes, amen. Our understanding to understand the real, like you said, perfect love, mm -hmm. yes. that the fear your thing is like, hey, God gave us to tell me to get a word and mm -hmm. I'm trying to share it, and they're not receiving it. He said, remember when Paul said in Galatians, like, uh, was in Galatians 1, when he was talking about, um, was it that? Uh, yeah, Galatians 1, right? When Paul was saying the, the zeal that he had in Galatians 1, yeah. verse, mm -hmm. verse 13, it says, For ye have heard of my conversation in times past of the Jews' religion, and how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it, and profited the Jews' religion above my... But of many of my equals in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous, zealous of the traditions of my father. That's it. He wasn't That's zealous it. of keeping the commandments of God, but he was zealous of keeping the traditions of the father. That's why he was going around persecuting the church. He realized right. that because it's zealous. But then God, that's what on the road to the master, he said, look, why is thou persecuting me? He right. thought in his mind he was doing the right, right thing. thing. Said, who God, are thou, Lord? Who are thou, Lord? He said, you persecuting me. Like, right. hold on. He said, oh, You're all this time, but me. all this time, he realized that what he was what he was following was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that. Then Jesus had to show him, oh, no. Like he said, I can't be following this doctrine of the Pharisees and Sadducees. I need to follow Christ, you know what I'm saying, right. in the true word of God. And you know what's so beautiful, that's what God shows us and stuff, that even with all his prophets, his, 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 his the apostles and disciples and stuff, you saw an element of growth with all of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, because Peter was a hothead. Mm -hmm. When right. he came to get, right. to get right. crazy, he took that sort of, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you got something good, you want to share it. Yes. You yep. understand where you grow, you grow mm -hmm. from that They don't you understand know, why they're not receiving it. It's just like you said, I got some gold right here. Come on, take it. Right. Yeah, you they, don't get it. They don't take it. They don't take it. They don't take it. Well, shoot, you just ain't yeah, so yeah. Realize, because yeah, I get, I get I frustrated with it. You know. mm -hmm. that's how I, I've been, been trying to share it. Because that's what you're trying to say. You be posting all this stuff. Y'all go through that. I would go to walk on the street. This is the last one right here, y'all. Romans 13. I can see your dad. Start at verse 8. Last one. Romans 13. Verse 8. Romans 13. Verse 8. 
get there, go ahead. 13 and 8. Go ahead. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. Mm -hmm. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Amen. 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 Keep going. Oh, this oh. <laughs> For this thou shalt not commit adultery, mm -hmm. thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, mm -hmm. thou shalt not covet. And if there be any... Hold on, hold on. Isn't he going back to the 10? Well, I mean, I'm just saying right. that. Yeah, you know, yeah. So obviously, this is New Testament. Thank you. It's going, everything right. he says in the 10. It's in the 10. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And if there be any other commandment, mm -hmm. it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor mm. as thyself. Mm -hmm. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Mm. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Amen. 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 I hope you got some understanding. Amen. Amen. Amen.